The focus turns to food on day 140 of the war in Ukraine. Officials from Ukraine and Russia meeting face to face for the first time in months, trying to broker a deal that would allow the export of millions of tons of Ukrainian grain and wheat. Those exports have ground to a halt amid a Russian blockade of the Black Sea. It's caused massive food instability and could soon prompt a global famine, which the Ukrainians blame squarely on Moscow. Other countries are dealing with food and energy crises and what led to this? Russia's cynical blockade of our seaports. The talks come as the fighting in the east remains largely paused, although shelling and missile attacks continue from both sides, killing dozens. Ukrainian forces now bracing for a major new offensive as Russia builds up its troops in the Luhansk and Donetsk regions, saying more help is needed from the west, including stepped-up shipments of artillery and missile systems. The deliveries of weapons have to be sped up. And uh, all our friends and partners know that. But there's also new intelligence suggesting Russia could be running out of resources, including military-grade drones, with their Iranian allies stepping up to help fill the gaps. The Iranian government is preparing to provide Russia with up to several hundred UAVs. This is just one example of how uh, Russia is looking to countries like Iran. And on the diplomatic front, the U.S. is working ways on capping the price of Russian oil, potentially robbing Moscow of a major revenue source. In Kyiv, Ukraine, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News.